guys it's my 29th of August DVD update um, I've not got many to show you I've got nine to show you today no blu-rays unfortunately um, so yeah I'll, I'll crack straight on the first one I've got to show you my good wife Miss Movies 84 I reviewed for the House of Horror last week it's called Uninhabited it's Australian um, if you want to know more about it then check her review out from a woman's point of view um, yeah I ain't got nothing else to say about it really this next one is Cowboys and Vampires obviously they changed the name um, it was called something like Dead West or something like that before but obviously with the big budget um, Cowboys and Aliens coming out they changed the name to Cowboys and Vampires to cash in on that um, the acting is pretty poor um, the idea of the film is good I thought it was um, set in um, the old time in the western era uh, but it isn't it's actually a theme park a western theme park that gets turned into an Halloween um, style theme park um, and then real vampires come and start fucking everything up so yeah it's um, Jonathan Softcock presents um, he's done a few films um, he did de he helped do Dead Cert um, so he's, he's done a few British films anyway he's been involved in a few British films he hadn't actually made them but he's been a part of them um, so yeah it's picked up it was pretty cheap next one I reviewed for the House of Horror a while back um, but I've only just managed to pick it up on DVD it came out um, I think it was today yeah, it came out today um, and it's Hatchet 2 um, I, I, I really like this I thought it was better than the first film um, the goal is absolutely amazing same as the first film um, and I know a lot of people don't like Adam Green um, but I like him as a filmmaker I think he's a good filmmaker um, it's released by Arrow Films this not Arrow Video I think it's, it's the same company but they release it without the cool artwork it's got lots and lots of special features on it though if you look at the special features there loads of stuff so well happy to pick that up probably be watching it again tonight this one I just come across and never even heard of it um, and it was really cheap in HMV and it's called The Great, the Last Great Wilderness and it's British it's from 2002 um, and they said it's um, The Wicker Man meets Straw Dogs Uncut Magazine gave it a 4 stars a shocking and accomplished debut Empire Magazine put The Great New Hope of the British Film Industry so I'm looking really forward to seeing this um, and I've seen loads and loads of good reviews I've had a look around after buying it and there's loads of good reviews about it so looking forward to seeing that I never even heard of it till today so pretty cool it's one I picked up because I like the Grindhouse throwback films uh, it's really low budget shot on digital video it's called Boston Girls um, it's uh, similar to the film, the French film Base Moi, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, where two women go around killing fucked up men who've abused them. Should they've been abused, raped, everything that can possibly happen to them um, from from male people um, has happened to them. Um, so they go around on a killing spree. Danny Trails in it. Obviously, they've cashed in on it because of. Um, machete and his photo and name is bigger than the girls and I think he's only got a cameo appearance in it so that's pretty shit and it's also got on the back featuring Danny Trejo star of machete so that's a bit of a con a con so that he, I don't think he's in it much I haven't seen it yet um, not not thinking it's going to be much good but I picked it up I like the front cover it's obviously got the machete colours and stuff like that in it um, and the writing's grindhouse-esque so that's picked it up it was cheap this next one is Strigoi which is um, a Romanian based film um, it's by um, a British um, writer-director uh, Faye Jackson it's her debut I think it's a woman 
must apologise if it in, but I'm sure it's a woman who's done this. Um, this is a dark comic vampire comedy. It's on for quite long. It's on for, um, I don't know, it's got to be on pushing two hours or something like that. It doesn't actually say on the back. Um, but it looks very well made and probably pretty good. I know that um, Critic Nick did a review for this on the House of Horror. Uh, check that out. I like the artwork. Um, it reminds me similar to Cemetery Man with him stood with um, stood in the graveyard with the shovel and the bag and stuff. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd pick it up. This next one, I heard loads of bad stuff about it, but I picked it up because I just wanted to. Uh, I just saw it and thought, oh, I'll buy that. And it's called Wreckage. Um, it's a slasher film, and the acting in this is pretty good. Um, I've watched some of it. I haven't watched all of it. Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad's in it, and he plays the exact same type of character than he does in Breaking Bad. He's like really fucked up, um, junky type. Uh, even though you don't actually see him taking drugs in this, he looks absolutely off his fucking face. So, yeah, it was nice to see him in it, and it's very well acted. And the front cover isn't bad for a Photoshop front cover. So, I picked it up. Chelsea Films has released it. They're releasing some pretty decent stuff recently. This next one I saw, when I first met my wife, she had this. Um, she just had a DVD-R of it, and I watched it. I didn't know nothing about it, never heard of it, really enjoyed it and I just got around to picking it up, I think I paid about 70p for it and it's called Devour, um, it's got uh, Jensen Eccles from Supernatural, it's also got Shannon Sossaman which she's pretty cool and Dominic Swain so it's got, it's got quite a good cast, it's a good story, it's well made, it's a teen type film but it, it's good. Um, I, I, I may review it soon. If you haven't already seen that, then you can pick it up for cheap. Then pick it up. Last but not least, I've heard so many good things about this film. Um, it's a low-budget zombie film, and I know we've seen millions of them in the last decade, and 95% of them have been really shit. It's called The Killing Strain. It's American. From what I've seen of it, 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 it is above average. Definitely above average. Um, the zombies look great in it. Um, there's infected and there's actual zombies in this, I think. Um, I'm not quite sure. I know that it's an infection. I know that it's a virus that spreads, but I don't know if it actually makes the dead return to life as well. It does resuscitate the dead, so it is actually a zombie film as well as an infection film. Look at the zombies on the back. She looks fucking great. Uh, you wouldn't moan if you saw her in one of um, Romero's films. The zombies look great. The acting's pretty decent for a low budgeter. So yeah, I'm holding out hope for this one. So thanks guys. Um, I'm going to do a shout out video in the next few days. I've just got to get everybody's names together because I don't want to forget nobody. Um, so look out for that. I hope you all enjoyed put a review up on the House of Horror YouTube channel today it was for Final Destination 5 if you want to know more about that there's no spoilers but if you want to know my views on that and take a look at that it's on there right now thanks guys I'll see you all next time